Well, in Polk County, she is accused of using a bamboo stick to intimidate the most vulnerable patients. Now the caregiver of a Winter Haven group home is behind bars, charged with abusing a disabled adult. A judge set bond at $5,000 for Bonnie Coleman today. She was the former house manager at a Medicaid-funded home. Neighbors are sickened by the allegations. It's not called for. So they're, they're humans like we are, and everybody needs to be respected and treated well. Part of Coleman's pretrial conditions are that she is to have no contact with patients of the facility. Joining us now to talk more about mental health is clinical psychologist Dr. Stacy Schechner. And first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you. But we talk so much about mental health and with the suicide of Robin Williams and various mm -hmm. things that go on. What is the definition of mental health? What are we really talking about? I wanted to read this. I found this online and I think it really does justice to defining mental health. The World Mental Health Organization defines mental health as a state of well-being in which an individual realizes his or her abilities, can cope with normal life stressors, can work productively, and can make a contribution to his or her community. And I just wanted to go over some points. We have to know ourselves, we have to know ourselves in relation to others, coping with stress, and be able to be productive in the community at large. That's where we hear coping skills all the time, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so why the stigma, you think, still, even in this day and age, why the stigma attached with getting help? I think because they, people think, oh my gosh, if I go to a psychologist, they're going to think I'm crazy. If I go to a psychologist, how are they going to help me? I can talk to a friend. I can't afford to go to a psychologist. I'm weak if I go to a psychologist. So all of these ideas are in people's head, preventing people from getting the help that they need. And you hear a lot today about life coaches. What's the difference, really, mm -hmm. if you're looking at a life coach versus a doctor? Mm -hmm. A psychologist, a counselor, a mental health therapist, we all go to school and we're trained in brain chemistry we're taught to look at how developmentally we grow up and how we can reach our full potential and what is sabotaging that where life coaches do not have that type of training and really we're not cookie cutter and we can't cookie cutter advice to the community and that's the difference usually what does bring people to therapy what is it? I would say the first thing that brings people to therapy are when kids have educational problems. Parents are like, what's gonna, going on with our child that's making them not be successful in school? Another problem are relationship issues, our career issues, our work issues, our marital issues, and that leads to depression and anxiety. So those are common issues where people, if they do come and get help, they can be more happy and successful. And what are the main benefits? I mean, obviously working through things is a good thing, but mm -hmm. how soon can you see benefits? I have a two-year-old who says, Dr. Schechner, I told my mom to do her deep breathing the other day. <laughs> so you can see benefits right away. If you go in and form a relationship with a therapist, just like you form a relationship with a gynecologist or a pediatrician, then you can get to know yourself in relation to others and what you may be doing that you don't even know to reach more success and happiness. Good information. Thank you so much. Thank Many you. are going to have to cope at the One Direction concert tonight. That's, That's what parents are going to be doing tonight. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Schechner. Thank you. And